Buongiorno classe! Come state? Oh, sto molto bene, grazie! Oggi cominciamo. Today we are starting with una lezione con i verbi irregolari, with irregular verbs. Specifically, questi due verbi, these two verbs, stare e dare. Due verbi are irregolari, two irregular A-R-E verbs. Now, let's backtrack un pochino, a little bit, to talk about verb infinitive, stem, and ending, which are terms noi usiamo, we use when conjugating verbi in inglese, in italiano, but, well, oggi in questa lezione. So the infinitive form of the verb is the entire verb that is not conjugated. So stare is the verb infinitive. The stem is the beginning right before, well, the ending. These are verbi are. These are A-R-E verbs, which means they end in A-R-E. Therefore, the stem is stare or st, S-T. All right, con il verbo dare, what is the infinitive form? If you are thinking, dare, the whole thing, see, si, you are correct. The stem in bianco is la lettera D, and the ending, of course, is are. These are due verbi molto corti, very short looking in italiano, in comparison to some of the other regular verbs that we've conjugated before. Now, Questi sono due verbi irregolari. These are two irregular verbs, which means they don't follow a regular pattern. Quando sto parlando, when I'm talking about regular patterns, think of quella canzone, think of that song. Io enzino, tu enzini, lui lei enzina, noi amo voi a te, loro hanno are, are, are. Okay. So, there will be a lot of similarities with regular ARE verb endings and questi verbi irregolari and these irregular verbs, but they don't follow that traditional pattern of consistency in that rule. The verbs stare and dare are irregular because they have different conjugation forms than those regular ARE verbs. Again, because I can't resist uh, and mi piace cantare, I love to sing, a r e a r e i o n z n o tu n z n i lui le n z n a noi i amo voi a te loro a no a r e a r e a r e okay. cominciamo we'll start with il verbo stare with some expressions of course sappiamo at this point we should know stare means to stay in terms of location to be or feel there are three expressions in particolare, there are many, but these ones are very much used and at least uh, nella nostra classe di italiano, in our Italian class we use them as well, quite often, spesso. So stare bene, stare male, stare attento. Let's talk about, parliamo di stare bene. Believe it or not, I used this at the beginning of classe. I actually used a stare expression at the beginning of classe. I asked, buongiorno classe, come state? How are you? How are you doing or feeling? And I answered with, sto benissimo, grazie. So, stare bene, I am feeling, or I am bene, well. Molto bene, very well. Benissimo, like the wellest of all, right? Um, stare male. Not so hot. Stare molto male. Stare malissimo. Not well at all. Stare attento, believe it or not, is a cognate. Attento. Attention, right? To pay attention. So stare attento is also an expression usato ne, molto nella classe italiano. State attenti, I would often say pay attention, especially to direzioni, directions. Stare is regularly irregular. You'll see why. But first, this conjugation chart should not look foreign. It should look molto uh, familiare a questo punto. So you are going to notice the stem of stare is going to be consistent throughout. The stem is st. st. 
The endings will also be similar. You might notice a couple differences in the to and loro form. State attenti. Antennas up. State attenti. Be aware. Pay attention. So, io ends in o, tu ends in e, lui le ends in a. Pausa. We'll pause there. Io sto. Tu stai. Now here, un po' diverso, a little different. S-I-T, A. Hmm. But it does, does still end in la lettera E. Louis le ends in A or A. Louis le sta. So, so far, io sto. Tu stai. Louis le sta. Noi and voi are totally regolari. Noi has the regular stem that we've seen with that regular ending and same con voi. So, noi stiamo, voi state, not state, but voi state. And then loro here is similar to our song. Noi amo voi a te, loro anno are, are, are. It's like I can't not finish the canzone. So it is anno. However, ci sono due n. There are two n's here, which is why I put this coniugazione in a different colore. So facciamo, let's do a little bit of pratica. Okay. Io sto, tu stai, lui le sta, noi stiamo, voi state, loro stanno. Tu stai. Here, io e Monica. We're not just talking about io, not just Monica. Parliamo. We are talking about io e Monica. This is a pronoun switch. Think about it in inglese. Monica and I are well. Monica and I um, are paying attention. We, right? So noi stiamo. Last one here with pronoun switching. Again, do I know me? Two names. Antonietta e Carmine. Not just Antonietta, not just Carmine. They, loro. Now, attenzione here. Due n when you're spelling. Stanno. Io blank molto bene. I said this at the beginning of class, eh? Maybe I said benissimo. It is io sto. Luigi, not so hot. Male. Luigi, Louis, sta male. Io e Marta, pay attention. So again, it's a pronoun switch. Not just io, not just Marta. Io e Marta. Noi, stiamo attenti, pay attention. La classe blank benissimo. This can be really tricky for English speakers. Now, la classe, how many classes are we talking about? Singolare, plurale. It is singolare. Sappiamo, we know it is singolare perché l'articolo is singolare, the article is singular. La classe. It's a throwback to seventh grade or beginner italiano, livello uno, right? One class, the class, think about it in inglese, the class is. So I can't use io, I'm not talking about myself, I am not a class. I'm una persona, right? Io sono una persona. I'm not talking to a class, so it's not to, and it can't be voi, saying the class is. Um, I'm not talking about the class they, so it can only be one form, right? And this is something, again, as English speakers, we get confused on. La classe sta benissimo. Moving on to il verbo dare, which means to give. All forms follow ARE verb endings, except the Louis le and loro form. Well, kind of, eh, mostly. So, of course, there are always some espressioni, some expressions that we even use in inglese. Dare una mano. So, nella classe di italiano, often I'll say, alza la mano se avete una domanda, right? Alzate la mano, raise your hand. Mano means hand. Dare una mano is to give a hand, a.k.a. to help. 
dare un esame, for example, to give an exam, un quiz, un progetto, dare quello che vuoi, get whatever you want. And then, of course, my favorite, this is just the conjugated form where these Italian, the Italians would say, dai, which really means just like, come on. Dai. Coniugiamo il verbo dare. Let's go. Let's conjugate dare. Again, verb conjugation box. The stem is going to look the same throughout. La lettera D, the letter D. Now, the endings are also going to look similar. Let's not get too caught up in the two uh, and the loro forms quite yet. But ricordate, think of our song. A, R, E. A, R, E. Io, Enzino. Tu, Enzini. Louis, lei, Enzina. Noi, amo, voi, a te. Loro, anno, a, re. A, R, E. A, R, E. So, io, Enzino. Io, do. Not io, do. Do, inglese. Italiano, do. Tu, dai, dai, come on, to die and see, lo so. I know it sounds weird in English, eh? to die, see, si, lo so, um, but you give, to die. Louis le, da. Here, un po' strano, a little strange and different, perché, why? Any guesses? L'accento, there is an accent mark here con il verbo coniugato with the conjugated form of dare. Noi is totally, uh, totally irregular, regularly irregular. The stem, la lettera D, with the regular ending. Noi, diamo. Same thing, con voi, totally normal, which is why sono in bianco. Date, not date. Date, la classe di italiano. In italiano noi pronunciamo, we are pronouncing tutte le vocali, right? All of the vowels, date. And then loro danno, due n, two n's here. Io do, to die. Lui le da, noi diamo, voi date e loro danno. Facciamo, let's do a little pratica. Io, io enzano. So, io, not do, but io, do. La professoressa, the teacher. She, a.k.a. lei, da. So, if you can move, make sure you can see la cento, the accent mark over la lettera a. I ragazzi, this here is a pronoun switch. Parliamo, we are talking about. I ragazzi, plurale, plural. So it can't be io, can't be tu. It's not noi or voi. Can't be Louis because it's more than un ragazzo. So loro danno con due n. Fill in the blank. Again, io do to dai Louis le da. Noi diamo, voi date, loro danno. La prof blank compiti ogni giorno. La prof, short for la professoressa, the teacher gives homework every day. La prof da compiti ogni giorno. Again, con l'accento, with the accent mark. Numero due. I professori blank esami orali la settimana prossima. The teachers give oral exams next week. In Italia, not so much here in Elisa Tuniti in the U.S., um, but in Italia, they actually have what's called interrogazioni, interrogations, where they are spoken exams. So, i professori, e plural, it's plural. So, it is. I professori danno, loro. If you're ever in doubt, pensate in inglese, think about it in English. The teachers give exams, the teachers give homework, the teachers are nice, they. Io e Alfonso blank una mano a nostra amica. Alfonso and I give a hand to our friend. Io, not just io, not just Alfonso, io e Alfonso, noi diamo, 
una mano a nuestra amiga. Last but not least, do uno kiata. Ahí brué. Could you hear it? Oops. Io blank uno kiata a la domanda. I look or I'll give a look at the question. I'll give it a look, let's say, in place it. Io do. Come abbiamo fatto? How did we do? I hope that we did 